Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shopping. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now, and towing the slab in this one, Joe Ross. What do you got on him, Chris? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there and compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. All right, ready to get underway. And the batter now, Francisco Morales. That one's in there. And this one is off and running. First pitch, 305. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll two. Ball one. Here's a high chopper. Garcia picks it up, fires across the diamond. One up, one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. One thing these guys do very well is stay out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. But, Boog, we don't see situational hitting as that art as much as we used to because guys are slugging the ball, they're hitting it over the fence. But when you see a team that has the ability to shorten up, hit behind runners, and go first to third or first to home, man, that just adds to the element of what you're able to do in other ways with the bat. So, opposing pitcher better not walk anybody or give them free base runners because these guys know what to do when men are on. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. To first, two up, two down. Batting third, the right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch is inside. And one and one. Kicks and fires. That's ball two. There's a fly ball, deep right field. And it hits the fence. Hernandez, relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. I think put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double.
Man at second here with two away. And now it is JT Real Muto. First offering and it just misses. The strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. That's in there. One and two. Harper stands at second with two gone. Squirts away a little bit. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Now it'll be Washington's turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Of the first, and starting this one is Zach Wheeler. What do you have on him? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Bottom of the first. Here's the third baseman, Luis Garcia. The third baseman, Luis Garcia. Pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Good eye right there. And he deals. Pitch misses, and it's 3-0. And, oh. and here it comes. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Alcides Escobar digging in for the Nationals. Escobar. In there for strike one. Nobody out, runner at first. Next pitch inside, and that is ball one. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Swing it on the curveball, and that's the first out. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. Nice you don't curve. know if you want to go up no and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he no, needs. No. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Watch Soto now. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. Right-hander kicks, deals. Just missed. Just missed. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. Next pitch misses, three balls and a strike. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 
And there's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Cool. First and second, hit. one out. Nelson, Nelson Cruz digs Cruz. in down. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. One out. Runners at first and second. Hammered on the line in the left. Base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Run scores easily, and it's one nothing. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. That is fit. The first baseman, Josh Bell. Josh Bell at the plate now. That one's in there on one. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. And a pitch. Ball one there. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. There's a foul ball. One, two now. And another ball. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Schwarber makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they lead by two. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Then at first, here is Cesar Hernandez. in there for strike one. pitch and there's the strike perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for a couple of strikes now back is against the wall he's gonna have to figure something out and figure it out quickly going two now and a swing and a miss and that's that second inning coming up from our nation's capital it's the Nationals two and the Phillies nothing New inning getting started, and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. The catcher, JT. The pitch. Mm -hmm. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. 
Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Sends it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Gene Segura at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. That's inside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering upstairs. Now three and one. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. Three and two down. To the right side. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Here's Chris Bryant now. Having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. First pitch, just misses. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing puts you right back in this ballgame. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Now 2-0. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two, two down. Good eye right there. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the ball to it. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really that well. It's a really nice plate side. appearance. Trevor. So two down, and now the shortstop, Trevor Storm. Hitless at four at bats yesterday. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Just off the outside part of the plate. Two oh. Swings through that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Brian off of first with two away. Got him. That ends the frame. Philly strand one. They trail things here. Two nothing.
We head to the bottom of the second, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. Nationals, the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. The pitch. And there's a ball. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. A wind in the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. And the pitch. He takes a strike. Here comes a pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Bryant right there to make the grab. And there's one away. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride Batting up it. in the zone right Looks there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Victor Robles in the box here lets that one go for a ball. One down, base is empty. Whoa, that's down. And a foul ball makes the count two and a one. And the right hander deals. And that's Great downstairs ball. and outside. Kicks and deals. This one in the air, right field. Harper settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two down. Batting none. The left fielder, Andrew. Now here is Andrew Stevenson. Hitless yesterday as they only pushed across one run. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ball and downstairs. There's a 1-1. Good eye right there. That misses off the outside edge. The 3 1. Slap the other way, foul. And that one sliced foul. pitch in the air to left down the line Schwarber gliding to his right puts the squeeze on that one and that'll end the inning Nationals go quietly they're up to nothing welcome back and now Kyle Schwarber Leading off for the Phillies, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And the right hander back to work. Pitch misses there, ball one. Ooh. 
Left-handed hitter waits. That pitch gets the corner, and that is strike one. That one missed. Here's a 2-1. And a foul ball. And down on strikes. And there's one down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a swing to miss. And one and two. One ball, two strikes, down. So now one and two to Reese. That misses the zone. The count now two and two. Righty delivers. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start now the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the Philly batting order turns over. Francisco Morales stands in for the Phillies. In there, and it's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. And the pitch oh, is outside, down. ball one. Righty to the plate. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Brandon Jordan. The next to hit, Jordan, third in the NL in RBIs this year. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. And on second, two down. That one fouled off. Morales at second with two down. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Two two down. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And it's second. The 
3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count, 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. To hit, takes outside. And a 1 0. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And now it's even up. Well, the hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Two outs. That one just misses. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Left hand batter waits. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's run up on strikes. But he lets the plate off Iron Dolan. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Nationals two and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the inning. And the batter now, Luis Garcia. Leading up for the Nationals. The third baseman, Luis Garcia. Wheeler back to work. And there's the strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. And the 0-1. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. And nope. now one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. There's a line drive to left field. Can't get there. Base hit. Now, now the number two hitter, Alcides Escobar. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Yeah, the first One offering out. is not close. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. The 1-0. -oh. Hey. And that's through there for a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. And a 
pitch. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And now it's Juan Soto entering this one second in the National League in hitting. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh and, one. and he deals. And ball one. Next offering misses down and away. Two balls, one strike. Way outside. Three and one now. And a pitch. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. And a ground ball to first, and it goes just foul. Pitch. Stays alive. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Line drive, and foul ball. Grinding A-B right here, about to see pitch number 10. Got him looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, interesting, he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single, back-to-back oh, -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And at first, Nelson Cruz will hit next. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. And he pumps it a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And he grounds one to the right side. And the inning is over. So one left for Washington, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Back in Washington, D.C., John Chomby with Chris Singleton and Meeting set to lead off the fourth, J.T. The Real Muto. J.T. Real Muto. Why to kick the pitch? That just misses. One and oh. The pitch. On the ground to the left. Has some trouble with it. 
And he beats the throw very close right there. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there. And as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning. Make that error hurt. Runner at first following the error. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. Foul ball there. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Real Muto gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch misses way outside. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one down. Chris Bryant getting now ready to hit. Third baseman, Chris Bryant. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. And it's not again two. And there's a the ball. Ross picks over. Real Muto back in there. Back over to first. Yeah, they're keeping him close. One hammered. That's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting the shortstop, Trevor Story. Here's Trevor Story. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. First pitch and he just misses. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Just a slow ground ball this time. In plenty of time to first, and Story is out. That's out number three. One left for Philadelphia. They're still down. It's two zip. Bottom of the fourth, and now the first baseman, Josh Bell. Leading up for the Nationals, the first baseman, Josh. Yeah. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Bounced up the middle. Segura collects. 
in there safely. Definitely a tough play right there, and he had a little trouble now on the transfer. Didn't people. seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made Third all the difference. Cesar Hernandez up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Lifted in the air, right field. Harper under it. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now batting. Catcher. Kaber. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. First time up was a pop out. That one lifted to left. Schwarber settles underneath it. He's got it. And there's two away. Up next for the Nationals, the center fielder. And now it's Victor, Victor Robles up to him. Robles. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bell off of first with two away. The one one. Good eye right there. Two one. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Real Muto to first. That is the inning. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Nationals two and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Leading off for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Pitch. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Mason Thompson, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Rodriguez getting cranked up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Now oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Ball one, one there. Two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Right-hander kicks deals. That one inside, and that's ball one. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. 
rolls across the diamond, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Morales. And now the DH, Francisco Morales. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And that's in there for strike one. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Smash to the left side. Tosses across the first, and that'll do it. Phillies down in order, and they're down 2 nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Andrew Stevenson. No left fielder. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Up the middle, on the run, throw to first, and a quick out number one. Third baseman number two, Luis Garcia. And now it's Luis Garcia. In there, and it's 0-1. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The punch out there, out number two. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been no looking matter. for number something three. away, maybe something Short soft, stop. but that oh, slider on the inside corner absolutely That's frozen. Here's the shortstop at the play. Alcides Escobar, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering, misses the mark. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, I and mean, it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. There's the strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Out towards right center field, Jordan on his way over. Got it! Really had to move for that catch. And that's the third out. And the Nationals gone in order as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now for the Phillies, off, Brandon the Jordan. The center fielder, Brandon Jordan. The pitch. Swing and attack for the rolls foul. You'll want. Late swing fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball to the right side. And there's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Right Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag. Out. 
out in second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. The boy's still breathing and he's still, still alive. Uh, what's the low child's destiny? He's trying to survive. Uh, he's always living by his visions that people don't see. Yeah, a foul ball. Righty delivers. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Bryce Harper with a star scraper. And they close the gap. It's 2-1. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Joe Ross is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Mason Thompson will take over here. He last pitched two days ago. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Base is empty one away, and now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Now JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. Check swing, but it went too far. That's strike one. One down, Phillies down a run. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two down. Gene Segura at the plate here. Second base. Gene Segura. First pitch way inside a fastball. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone, and now three and oh. Right-handed reliever. And yeah, there's the strike. That one is absolutely belted. Leaping try, but it's off his glove. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So runner at second, two down. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Now one out to right. Soto under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game.
There we go, bottom six. Now with the plate, Juan Soto. Leading up for Washington, the right fielder, Juan Soto. And the pitch. And a strike in there. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And he'll one. Oh. Now one and one. Jump, one and one. Righty to the plate. And a count one and two. Left hand batter waits. And a base hit up the middle. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Just so sound in his mechanics. Now Hits against a firm the front side. And Delta. the hands just continue to carry Ooh. through the middle of the field. And here's the DH for Washington. Nelson Cruz, one for two. And it's fouled away. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. The first baseman, number 19, Josh Bell. Here's Josh Bell. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two outs. And that one. Wrapped foul. And he deals. And downstairs. Bounce to the left side. And a base hit right there. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now up for Washington, Cesar Hernandez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and fires. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Eflin appears to be getting loose. Gibson warming up as well. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Ready to count two and two. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Nationals lead one, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back, and here is Trevor Story. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here.
Thompson back to work. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Rip, but it curls foul. Only two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. You get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. On the mound now, Sam Clay. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. The tying run at the plate. On the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. And that quickly two away. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty. That one drifts inside. The wind to kick the 2-0. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Looking to get the tying run on base. And there's the strike. The pitch. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Francisco Morales. Morales. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. In there for strike one. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Hoskins leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. That one to first. Fair ball. 
throw, and it gets away. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly the barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that no swing and not get beat by that pick. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. So digging in, Brandon Jordan. Good contact guy, good defender. So a second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get it out. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Harper goes after that one for strike one. The 0-2. And here's a slow roller. They come home with it for the first out, and that'll do it for the inning. Phillies leave them loaded, and our score remains 2-1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Zach Eflin. He's pitching on two days rest. Zach Eflin. Back here in Nationals Park, set for the last half of the seventh. Up now for Washington, Hebert Ruiz. The catcher. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. On the ground to third. On to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Up next to the after. The center fielder, Victor. Here's Robles. Victor Robles. First pitch, and he just misses. And here it comes. And it's one and one. And a pitch. And it is two and one. The line to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. offering upstairs at this point in the game you cannot issue free passes he's gonna have to challenge this hitter hitters got to be ready to swing it next offering is foul back they all pitch well struck left field that's back turning looking and that one is gone his seventh home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 3 1. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So one out, nobody on. Andrew Stevenson, the now next to hit. Left fielder, Andrew 
That's in there for strike one. Kicks and deals. Dribbled up the third baseline, and he grabs it in foul ground. And the pitch. Tapped out in front of the plate. Got in time, and he reaches safely. Third baseman number two, Louis Garcia. Down the third baseman, Luis Garcia. First yes, offering, misses the mark. The pitch. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Two up. Strike right there. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. At the belt and fires. Yeah, that one clips the corner. Stevenson over at first with one away. On the ground right side. Four, six, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the end. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Tanner Rainey on the pitch here. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 21, Tanner Rainey. Back in Washington, D.C. For the top of the eighth, J.T. Real Muto steps in. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eric Fetty up and throwing. offering misses two balls no strikes to count they get to this part of the order yeah there's some pop there but more likely there's some base hits so very important to be patient let the pitcher walk you if he will the pitch a swing and a miss and that's strike one well he came right at him right there challenged him with the 2-0 fastball not sure exactly what he was looking for but gotta imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound you're in that hitter's head a little bit Strike two. The pitch. That's inside. Right-handed reliever. Out to short. Escobar handles the chance. Gets it to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Fastball proved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Gene Segura, one for three. In there, and it's 0-1. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Yeah, now the 0-1. One. One one. And that 
that's outside. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swings through that one for strike two. And a pitch. Down on strikes. Now two out. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. And here is Chris Bryant. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Right-hander kicks deals. And now two and two. Righty to the plate. And it's filled up. Stays alive. And a 3-2. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Left field. Stevenson on the move. No trouble here. Picks it away for the out. And that is that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And they still trail it here. Three to one. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and now up for Washington, Alcides Escobar. Leading off for Washington, the shortstop, Alcides Escobar. And the right hater back to work. And that's a strike. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Connor Brogdon getting loose out there. Fouled off left side. On the ground, right side. Segura throw to first. One up, one down. Down that The right field. Oh. Here's Juan Soto. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The wind of the pitch. The other way, makes the catch for the second out. Now back, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Two outs, base is empty. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals, Nelson Cruz. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Base 
back center field. And that keeps the inning going. So Singy, let's dive into Number the numbers, Singy. courtesy Number of StatCast. Do you yeah. even feel contact being yeah. made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, nope. but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. The next pitch misses, 2-0. Oh. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is outside. So now two on and two outs. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick back. free pass. Cesar Hernandez will hit next. But both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Bounce to the right side. He steps on the bag. That's the inning. So the Nats leave a pair, and the score stays 3-1. to one. Eric Benny lead. taking over on the mound, trying to the protect net. this lead. Number 24, yeah. Eric Here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. There's Trevor Story now. Pitch. That one misses, and it's one and oh. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Up the middle. There's Hernandez handling the chance. The throw to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The batter. The left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. And he deals. Gets the outside corner with that one. Gonna miss as he was late that time. Next pitch way upstairs. Fouled off to the right. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, he stays alive. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Two outs, base is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. Base hit, left center field. Up 
Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's now a bat. good sound Designated coming off hitter. the bat, man. And Francisco. as he connected out front and lifted into the More outfield, rounds. that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So the batting order turns over. And next is the designated hitter, Francisco Morales. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. offering misses one ball one strike tying run at the plate and fouled off and a ball in two strikes rip back to the mound and that got him Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. Now a move being made at second base. Coming in as the pitch runner, Simone Muziano. So they're down to their final out. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release play. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And yes, he did. He went around. Two on, two outs. In the air, right field. Makes the catch. Parking, and the Nationals claim the lead here behind some great pitching and defense. 3-1 ball game. Quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out. But a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. Major final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire